ओके गाइस वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर द शेडेड एरिया अबाउट द एक्स एक्सिस सो अगेन वी आर गिवन दिस शेडेड एरिया एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द एक्स एक्सिस सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस दैट देर आर टू मैथड्स टू फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया वन इफ द डिफ्रेंशियल स्ट्रिप इज parallel to the x axis is about which we want to find the moment of inertia and the other case is when the differential area or the differential strip is perpendicular to the x axis is so if the differential strip is parallel to the x axis is we, we can always use this formula that is i of x or we can say that di of x is equal to uh, y square times da and for this formula the area need to be parallel to the x axis is right about which we want to find the moment of inertia so now let's say that this is the uh, differential strip which is parallel to the x axis is and this differential strip is located at a distance of uh, y from the x axis is this is y each and every part of this uh, da is at a distance of y and similarly the height of this dis differential strip this is dy this is small change in y and the uh, this dimension is 2 meters right so this edge of this area is defined by this function y square equals to 1 minus 0.5x so the coordinates of the ends of this da the coordinates of the of this end of this da is uh, it is at a distance of x and at height y so these are the coordinates of the end of this da so if if this is if this is x from here to here this is x so this means that the width of this da is x and the height is dy so we can write that da let me write that da is x times dy so this is x times dy so now uh, i can put uh, this da in this equation so this is the this di of x is the moment of inertia of this differential strip about the x axis is now we want to find the moment of inertia for this whole area so we have to integrate both sides of this equation we have to sum uh, the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from Uh, y equals to zero until y equals to one meter. So we have to integrate this from zero to one, and this d will cancel out. So we will be left with i of x. So this is i of x, and this is y square, and d a is this x times d y. So this is x times d y, and the integration is from zero to one. Now, as we can see that the integration is with respect to y, and we have x here, so we have to replace this x in terms of y. So we are given this equation. We can write that y square equals to one minus zero point five x, and if I bring this term to the other side, so that will be zero point five x, and plus y square equals to one, or we can say that one minus y square is equal to zero point five x. and we can write this 0.5 as 1 divided by 2 as well this is 1 divided by 2x and we can write that this is x is equal to 2 into 1 minus y square so now we can put this x equals to this uh, in this equation so this is y square and this is 2 into 1 minus y square dy and this 2 is constant we can write this out of uh, outside of integration so this is 2 and we are left with this and so this is 2 integral of from 0 to 1 and if we multiply this so this is y square minus y to the power 4 dy now we can integrate this this is 2 and this is uh, y to the power 3 divided by 3 minus y to the power 5 divided by 5 and the limits are from 0 to 1 so this is 2 and now if i put these limits so this is 1 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 5 so this is 2 and if we put 0 so everything will become 0 so that will be minus 2 into 0 so this is 2 into 
1 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 5. So this gives us 0 0.267, 0 0.267, this is the moment of inertia about the x-axis and the units are meter to the power 4.